Born Before 64 is a TV show that asks the vital question, what will we do for the rest of our lives? Katherine Raker hosts a show for baby boomers and above, inviting real people to tell real stories about overcoming issues, about facing with courage and triumph the significant obstacles many of us face every day. So let's join Katherine Raker for Born Before 64. Don't say that. Oh my god, he did. Oh, don't say can't. Oh, don't say can't. Uh, uh, lean back, lean back. How would you already done got nice? How would you? Which one for dollar four for ten? Where is the money? <laughs> I'm doing great. She has no money. We have no money yet. We have been to the ATM. Okay. Okay. That's We've got it. Yeah, we gotta find the ATM. Lean back, mommy. Lean back. Oh, look at this, how dust. Wait, you're on the second floor. Second floor. Got you. All right, baby. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. Got you. Lean back, Rigosa. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God. No, she's straight. She's straight. That's it. Don't hey, mommy. Don't hold the rope. Don't hold the rope. Okay. Just hold the rope. That's it. Okay. This is what you don't hold. Hi, hook server. Hold it, mama. Get your hey, Sherry. Go up the wall. Go up the wall. You can get the city background. You can get Jerusalem background. Up, 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 all the way up. You can get the golden dominant back. You can do something with which you go back home, Mama. <laughs> wave your hand, Mommy. Wave your hand. Wave your hand. <laughs> Got you, Mother. Good picture, huh? OK, we'll get you back. Okay. Hold it, Mama. Hold it. 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 So the meaning of Jerusalem in Hebrew, it's go straight with God. Go straight with God. Okay. This is the meaning of Jerusalem. Okay. Straight, be straight with God. Jerusalem, Yeshar. There is another meaning that says believe. Complete. Yeru, it's belief. Believe, Yeru. Shalem. Shalem. It's complete. Complete. It's full. Full belief. Or complete belief. <coughs> the, the meaning of Jerusalem. Okay. Okay? So this is the beginning. Okay. Now another thing that you should you, you should know, you, you should you must know. If we are living belief on the side and talking only geographic, why Israel become the center of the ancient world? What was the reason for that? Because and we are not talking about belief at all, only oh, okay. geographic. Okay. 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 okay, there is this fantastic picture from the Middle, middle Age time mm -hmm. that show the world as a, as a leaf, one leaf. 
let's see the photo to the camera. One leaf is Europe, other leaf is Africa, and uh, the third leaf is Asia. Still not America. Right. It's even before before they discover America. Okay. So three leaves <laughs> and Jerusalem in the middle. And ge geographic is this. When, when people want, want to come and conquer uh, from Europe to, to Africa, like Alexander Mas Macedon, mm -hmm. he came from Greek, needed to cross Israel and go down to Africa. Mm -hmm. In Africa he, or, or Egypt, he built the Alexandria, the famous Alexandria. It's on his name, Alexander Alexandria. Okay? So he needed to cross Israel. When the Egyptian, the, the pharaohs, wanted to go from Egypt to Asia, to Babylon, and the ancient the people those days, they needed to cross Israel. So it was the center. So Israel became the center of the ancient world. Now add to that the beliefs. This is why the, the reason why the Israel was the center of the world. And everything happened here. And everybody wants to be here. And everybody wants to conquer to to all of you. Tell the story about the birds and how they migrate through here. Ah. Until until today, birds from from Europe traveling to Egypt at the beginning of the winter. Yes. To Israel. To Israel. True. To Israel. To Israel. Israel. And they, in the end of the winter, they are coming back and they are crossing Israel again. So every spring yeah, and fall, we, we have immigration of birds, hundreds of thousands of birds crossing Israel on the way to Egypt or back to Europe. Which even shows that the birds know that Israel even is the center. Yes. Even it, the birds, the, know, even the birds know, yes, that, it's that the Israel is the center. It's the center, okay. Well, Okay. Okay. So what, what we have here on Mount Zion, we have first of all we have, or oh, at the beginning was the tomb of King David. Okay. Later on, we have the room of the Last Supper Monastery. Okay. And later on, we have the Dormition Church. Dormition Church came from the the word the French word the uh, word dormir, dormir, fall asleep. And this is the place where St. Mary died. As the Bible says, she died on Mount Zion, surrounded by the apostles. Right. And from here, after she died, from here they are taking her to Gethsemane. And according to the Catholic, from Gethsemane, she, she, made, she made her ascension and go up to heaven. And according to Protestants, we don't know where no, she's no buried. No, Protestants, no, no. According to the Greek Orthodox, <laughs> She, she died here, and they buried her at Gethsemane. Okay. Did they ever check the grave out? Yeah, the grave is empty. Great. Yeah, that's what I thought. I never even heard. Okay, <laughs> now, it I was mean, very necess ne necessity for the Christians later on to show the connection between Jesus and King David. What? And, and there is a connection. Yes. And we are going to see the connection. Uh, <coughs> King David belonged to Jesus' family tree. Yes, yes. He was a descendant of King David. So the room, the room of the Last Supper that built at uh, the time of the Crusaders in Israel 900 years ago, built above King David's tomb. They bombed King David's tomb. Above. above it. Above, above it. it. Above King David's tomb to show the connection. And another thing that we talked about it yesterday, because they gathering here, they gathering here for the first time as Christians, you're not Christian, but a new community. They gathering here. The, the church thinks that this is the place of uh, the Last Supper. This is the first church or mother of all churches. Oh. Mm. Okay. Because that was really the first church. So we are us. now at the, at the place of mother of all churches. Oh, first of all, we are going to see the Dormition Church, and then we'll go to see uh, the home of the Last Supper. Okay. 
in Latin room of the Last Supper called Sinaculum, uh, Sinaculum in Latin. And then we'll go down to see the tomb of King David. Life's this hard, graduating can be even harder. But you can help Ativa and the students in your community make it through by visiting boostup.org. The odds of a child becoming a professional golfer? One in 140,000. The odds of a child being diagnosed with autism, 1 in 150. You know the odds of autism. Now learn the signs. Go to AutismSpeaks.org. Ronnie, explain to us, our guide, explain to us what the front, on the front of the church represents the, the people that are up on the front. There's the God right before he passed away. They have a church, they have the child Jesus. Can you explain that to us? Yes. We can see on the phone, we can see first of all the believers. The believers uh, and the most believers are presented by the deers at the top of the, uh, of the roof. And, and in the middle we can see Jesus. Here the, the Bible tells us that something like a tiny tra tra a transfiguration happened here. So we see Jesus as a man, and in the same night, or in the morning after the crucifixion, he becomes Jesus the Lord. So we see Jesus on two positions, in two positions. Jesus the man, and Jesus the Lord above him. Say that I am the first and I am the last, Alpha and Omega. When I say Byzantine, meaning 1500 years ago, okay? That's this one is? This no. one is. Look at the artwork in it. Look at the serpents. Right oh, it's here. amazing. The thing is everything. It's fantastic. It's called Corinthian Play Capital. So we can look how they hold those trees. There are people who think that those trees are from the time of Jesus. Okay, guys? Yeah. Do you need help here? Because it, it's new, but only a hundred years ago, it's called Nea Romanesque. New Romanesque. And the Romanesque, as I told you before, Romanesque are still without any, any windows. 
because they, at that time they didn't use glass, mm -hmm. so it's almost without any windows, and it's very dark inside. Later they will put, or will, they will add medallion at the front of the church to put some lights in. This is the Paragothic time. Okay. You know the Gothic church. Uh -huh. yes. How do you convince a 14-year-old girl that hair doesn't matter? When the diagnosis is childhood cancer, where can parents turn? CureSearch.org can help. It's run by doctors and scientists whose research has led to an overall cure rate of 78%. You're not as alone as you feel. Recycling a glass bottle saves enough energy to run the TV you're watching for one full hour. Recycle. It's the everyday way to save the world. I was hanging out with some people. Now I realize I shouldn't have. The work was so hard. It was just going fast, fast, fast. I got kicked out of school and nobody cared about me, so I don't care. I sort of got messed up into gangs and other stuff. School was very difficult. I was expelled from school. I mean, the one person who really got me to go back into school was my friend Kevin. At my friend's graduation, I'm going to be the loudest one there. Because if you don't have anybody while you're in school, then there's not really a way to get through it. This is Catherine Raker of Born Before 64, and we are continuing into the domation. Um, domito? Domation? Domitia. Domation. And we're, we're letting Ronnie talk about, now we're inside the nave, the beginning of the church, right? And um, we're going to go into the church to see the beauty of all the architecture. And the architecture was dur built during the a hundred years ago. hundred years ago. By German architect. By German architect. Uh, holding by the, the Benedictines. So it's actually in the in in the care the care of the Benedictines. Yes. But originally the Franciscans belonged to the Franciscans. Belong to the Franciscans and now the Benedictines are taking care of it. I need you to understand the connection between Jesus and King David here on Mount Zion. Okay. Now the connection starting where Jesus born. Jesus born in Bethlehem and also King David was born in Bethlehem. And uh, when John the, ba John the Baptist arrested by King Herod, he is sending, sending a message to Jesus and he's asking him, are you the one that born in Bethlehem? And uh, this was uh, very important for the, Jew for the Jews those days because the, everybody knows, according to the tradition and everything, everybody knows that the Messiah must be born in Bethlehem. Okay? And here we are standing now on Mount Zion, and we have here on the mount, we have the King David tomb, and above King David tomb, we, we have the a room of the last mon room of the last supper monastery built first of all built by the Byzantines uh, 1500 years ago and later on it built again by the Crusaders 900 years ago and what we have here we have the family trees according to Matthew chapter 1 we have the family trees of Jesus starting, of course, with Adam and Eve at the woods, went up to King David and his family, and ended in Jesus Christ. Okay? So, this is, this is the, the connection between Jesus and King David. Very important connection. This is a pine, pine. pine tree or pine cone. And can you tell us what the, what the meaning of this is? How special it is? 
for the earlier Christians, the pine fruit was very sacred. They say it's, it's like the new Christian, very tough, very hard from the outside, and very tasty and very healthy from inside, and also very pure. So this is the sign. What we have here are the first, the first signs, the first signs of the earlier Christians. We can see the fish and the letter P in the X over there at the left side. Actually, they are not P and the X. They are Greek, Greek letters Chi and Rho. Chi and Rho for Christos. Christos is Christ in. Then we have the Alpha and Omega. I'm the beginning and I'm, I'm the last. The Holy Spirit, the pigeon, the Holy Spirit. The bread and the wine. Okay? And if you move a little bit further, further, the phone further, and look at the windows, the windows are written in Hebrew. The first sentences of the book of Genesis. The creation, the creation of the world. Here we have something to understand. We can see the, the letters Chi and Rho for Christos in Greek, the Holy Spirit and a boat. Now boat in Greek is Navi. And the first time for, uh, for the earlier uh, Christians, they, they, they started to use the Pagan's Temple. But Pagan's Temple with, was without roof because they didn't allow anyone to get inside, only the priests. But the church was, wants everybody going inside. So they took the, the pagan temple and put a boat, the opposite the boat, and put it on the roof, to use, put it on the above to use, it, to use it as a roof. So this was because in the main hall of the churches called Nave. The nave, or the nave, yes, nave in Greek, or the nave. This is the reason why, the, because of the boat that uses a roof. Okay, so this this mosaic show you that Christ will navigate, will navigate, also navigate came from the nave, the same the same uh, meaning. Jesus will navigate the believers to a safety shore. This is what the mosaic says. Proceeding into the church, and we're going to see the different mosaics in the altar at the church. This church back to Adoration Mary, and everything in this church is all about Mary. You see the apses and the icons that show us Mary holding Jesus the baby. Above, prophets from the old Bible. Isaiah, Zechariah, Ezekiel, and others. Those are the prophets. And we are standing in the middle of a mosaic, very, very nice mosaic. In the middle, in the middle of the mosaic, we have the Holy Trinity, and surrounded by few cycles. The first round after the Holy Trinity are prophets are prophets from the Bible, you see? Joel, Daniel, Amos, and others. Yes, that is the, the first cycle. Amos and others. The second cycle is our uh, uh, prophets from the New Testament. And every torch, every torch reminds us one of the uh, apostles, like Jacob, Thomas, John, and others. And the last cycle are the zodiac. Is the zodiac. For more information on our show, check out our website at www.bornbefore64.com.
Oh, hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey. Where have you been? I lost my cat. Oh, that's not right. Yeah, so I made this cat magnet to try and get him back. Cool. Does it work? Kinda. <laughs> nice. Yeah, but that's not my cat. I gotta keep working on it. See ya. See ya. Anything's possible. Keep thinking. Get started on your own inventions or just play some games at inventnow.org. The church, the Church of Mary. Yes. And in each area there is a altar. Um, in each altar, he has icons as well as beautiful statues um, and uh, impressions in, in in bronze. In bronze. Um, and this one here is the Holy Family. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. You want to talk about it, Timothy? Yes. It's the Holy Family, but not not only. Not only the the Holy Family and other patriarchs during times. Now each 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 apsis donated by by another nation. Right. And you can we see that all over. But what important here that Mary at the icon, Saint Mary at the icons, always wearing blue. Blue was, uh, was very royalty at the ancient time. So Mary always wearing blue. And Christ. Okay. Christ Hello is the only one with the cross in it. All the hellos of other saints will, will be empty hellos, but only Christ will, uh, will be with the cross in his hello, like, like you can picture over there at the axis. And we are standing at the, at the upper stairs. And we are going now, we are going down to the crypt. Oh, to the crypt. Yes. Okay. Can you tell me, can you tell me who this is over here? Who is that representing? This is a patriarch, German patriarch from 300 years. I'm sorry, but I forgot his name. <laughs> German patriarch from 300 years ago. The reason for that is because you can surround the main issue it's, it's possible to do that. It's in the round. It's in the round. And the, the main issue, of course, is St. Mary, while sleeping here. Right. Dormir, according to the French. Yeah, she, she is sleeping here. And she also surround with, come, come guys, she's also surround with women prophets from the Bible. So she, St. Mary surrounding by women prophets from the Bible. And the first medallion over there, it's Eve. Eve with the snake behind her and she is hold, holding the apple. So this is Eve. Next to her on the left side is Queen Esther. Remember Queen Esther? Okay, Queen, Queen Esther from the Bible. Next to Queen Esther, next on the left, yes, it's Ruth. Ruth, Ruth the Moabian. Ruth the Moabian was the grandmother of King David. Next, next to Ruth, okay, next to Ruth is Judith. Judith from the Book of Judith. She is, she is holding the, the head of Holofernes. Holofernes was the Greek that came to conquer Jerusalem, and she came out drinking and cut his head. So Judith holding the head of Holofernes. The, the church here signing for us the, the, one of the most famous events that happened here. And this is the event of the Last Supper. It happened, it happened here on Mount Zion. And you, as, you, as you can see here, Jesus with the disciples are having the Last Supper.
Thank you for joining us on Born Before 64 with Katherine Raker.